So in this video, we're going to discuss fades. So one of the first things I like to do before I do any mixing or organizing, I like to listen. I want to make sure all the edits are good. Not everybody's familiar with shortcuts. Now when I'm editing, and I have a lot of tracks, one of the easiest ways you can do this, you can open Strip Silence to get rid of all the stuff that you don't need. You're going to select the Strip option. It's going to strip everything. Now for the most part, we can leave it like this. Or we can zoom in. and just create a fade. Now that's great. But what I would like to do, just to back up just a little bit, make sure I got everything, just to be on the safe side, and I create that fade. So now we're not gonna have any pops and clicks. We wanna make sure that we're deleting stuff that we don't need. So if we zoom in, check this out, we have this here, we don't need that. Now another way you can do this, we can select everything and just press the F key. So you can either skip this or adjust. I'm going to adjust to fit. And now we're going to zoom in. Check this out. It automatically added fades on each edit. And that's so important. And it's also important that you listen and you adjust. Now there's something I like to change within the fades. So if I go to setup, preferences, Edit tab, over here you got the default fade settings, fade in, this is how I like to set it. Usually on its default setting, I prefer it this way. Click OK, fade out, same thing. Now this doesn't only apply to strip silence, it applies to any edit, especially if you're using something like Beat Detective. Now by using Beat Detective, it creates those hard edits, and you can hear the clicking. I hear that all the time. So one of the things people forget to do is come over here to edit smoothing. You have this option here to fill in gaps. My favorite option is fill in and crossfade. And I usually like to set it at three milliseconds. It's all up to you. It's all preference. I personally like to keep it at three milliseconds. You know, if you're doing this from home and you have the song that you can have somebody else mix, you don't want the mixer to spend an hour or two just on dealing with this specific issue. And if you want to take it even further, we can control F and we can open the batch fade. So you can adjust all of these. Now, I'm not going to sit here and discuss all these options, but I'm just showing you that these options are here. A lot of people don't know about this. So let's create a manual fade, and I want you to pay attention to the waveform. So if something like this happens, it isn't going to sound right. And you can keep manipulating the fade until you get exactly what you're looking for. So I want you to do me a favor. I want you to give this video a thumbs up. It will definitely help the video out. Also, first time watching my video, press that sub button. Press the bell for future notifications. I want to thank you for watching my video. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later.